Testing, one, two, three, four. This is presentation tool, proficiency tips. Testing, one, two, you got it? Okay, let's get started. This may sound a bit odd, but an illustrated children's book may well be one of the better examples to emulate when creating a PowerPoint presentation for adults. Why? Well, for one, it tells a story, and for two, the story gets parceled out in small chunks of information from one page to the next. Just look at the typical small children's book and you'll find it's not uncommon for there to be one sentence and one illustration per page. This simple design makes it easy to follow along. So easy, even a child can do it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying a PowerPoint presentation and a storybook are one and the same. I'm just saying that the idea of chunking the information applies to both. By having the presentation unfold in small chunks rather than big pieces, you'll be leveraging the natural tendency for human curiosity to pay attention to what's coming next. In a moment, we'll look at a few examples of what I mean. But before we do, there are two other pieces of advice that go along with this concept. First, do not hand out an advanced copy of your presentation. And second, Avoid prematurely tipping your hand about the content by giving the audience an advanced look at what you're about to discuss. When the mystery of the presentation is gone, your audience is likely to go with it, if not in body, then surely in mind. With that said, there are numerous techniques for delivering chunked information within a presentation, and you'll be well advised to tap several of them, especially if it's a long one. Doing so will provide the audience with some visual variety. Our first example is a basic technique for revealing information that might otherwise be thrown up as a completely filled out list, much like the one we saw a moment ago. Instead, have each item show up one at a time, either as you mention it or as you happen to be generally talking about what's on the list. You can also dress up the visual to make it look a little more interesting. A variation of this is to have the chunks of information appear and disappear in sequential order. This tactic is particularly good for when you plan to briefly discuss each item before moving on to the next one. It also lets you control the rhythm and pace of the presentation and it helps the audience to stay in step right along with you. Think of it as something like ballroom dancing where you lead and they follow. Can you see how these two techniques differ from doing something like we see on this slide or this one? Rather than revealing everything all at once, you're breaking it down into easily digested keywords and phrases and then delivering it in small chunks. You can do something similar with pictures, graphics, or charts. Only, instead of it being a reveal, it'll be more along the lines of a build. Either way, the main idea is to have the visual part of the presentation add value to what the audience is hearing. Sometimes, we like to incorporate a quote from someone, either because it's clever or maybe because it reinforces what we're trying to convey. Bear in mind that even a quote can be artfully chunked to make it come across as a little more interesting. In show business, it's called a dramatic pause. For instance, while discussing the importance of using measures to evaluate marketing outcomes, we included a quote from a famous merchant in U.S. history by the name of John Wanamaker. He said, Half my marketing dollars are wasted. The problem is, I don't know which half. Notice how that visual chunking of the quote complements the voice inflection to make the delivery just a little more interesting. Now if we had handed out slide notes in advance, it would have spoiled the effect. So there you have it. Two more tips for creating a PowerPoint presentation. Tell a story and give out the information in small, easy to follow chunks. Just like the pros do.